Tips to Remember When Creating Your Business Logo Design If you are an entrepreneur, it is an important task to be able to create your own brand identity with a great logo design. This is because your business needs to have a name and a logo that will identify it among the different brands and logos that are teaming the market today. Therefore, what should be the qualities that are needed in order to create a good logo design that will give you the much-needed attention for your business? Below are several things that you may consider as you find an inspiration for the logo that you will be designing. Product theme, what product will you be selling? What is the general theme of the business? You will need to determine the overall theme of your business and come up with several symbols that can identify with your specific product line. Business name There are times when business owners include the business name in their logo. This can be done especially when you think it will be more helpful for the public to remember your business name and the logo corresponding to it. Fonts There are various fonts that may be considered. However, it is a general rule that the simpler the font, the more it is capable of being understood. Therefore, you may want to choose a font that is beautiful in a sense without losing the simplicity that will make it understandable to the people reading it. Colors The colors are very important. You may want to use several colors for your logo. Depending on the overall design you will want to employ, it will be a good thing to remember that the color, aside from the font, can be one of the main things that will help attract the attention of the would-be customers. It will also be something that will help them remember your business name, symbols, as mentioned in the product theme, the symbols you will be employing should be a good indication of your product line. Therefore, choose a symbol or symbols that are directly related to your product. It will be good to remember that it will be better sometimes to choose a maximum of three strong symbols rather than choosing to put too many symbols that will only eventually confuse people. Lines and borders You might also want to consider the border and the lines you will be using in your logo. Choose to have a single border or even a couple of two thin borders of the same color. Black or white will do most times, depending on the overall color of the logo. Conclusions, creating your own logo should be one of the main considerations as you begin to start a business. Your logo will be the very thing that will identify your business especially if it is a logo that is unique and different among the different logos on the market. It will also be the thing that will identify the brand that you sell and will be the very thing you place on your letterheads during business letter correspondences. Choose to make it attractive and striking so that it catches the attention of people.